And I'm curious as to what you look for that gives you more confidence here that the bear market is over, a new bull market is afoot. Is it specifically about economic conditions and economic conditions alone? Well, no, actually, price will usually lead. OK, so what we're looking for is price, uh, meaning that the price is never really you know, factored in the growth concerns, right? That the bear market to date has still been, for the most part, about the Fed, inflation, and interest rates going up in, you know, very quick manner, and that has compressed valuations. But at no point in the last year have we seen the equity risk premium component, similar to credit spreads, by the way, those usually blow out when they're really concerned, when stocks or credit instruments are concerned about growth. And that hasn't happened yet. So we really can't say the coast is clear given our view on growth. Now, we were, if we were more optimistic on growth, then we would probably be saying the bear market was over in October when we called that rally back at that time because we thought there would be a relief on the rate side, which we got. But now, given our view on earnings and, of course, this potential credit crunch, we, have, we think the risk has gone up uh, for that equity risk premium to finally come home and hit the, hit the price earnings multiple. So that's the thing we're really looking for, Romain. And then, you know, obviously, the economic data and the rate of change on growth will follow. Um, and we just think people are being impatient here because, look, bear markets are exhausting. OK, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more exhausted than anybody because I've probably been bearish the longest. And we all want it to be over. Uh, but it's our job to point out to clients that the risk, re the risk reward is still uh, not attractive given our outlook.